Let me teach you how to download and install NeoForge 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to download and install NeoForge is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install NeoForge. Now, feel free to read through our guide. However, if you just want to follow along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down to step one and click where it says download. That'll bring you over here, where you're just going to select the 1.21 version right here, where it says latest NeoForge installer. Go ahead and click in there. And that is going to begin the download immediately for NeoForge. Now, while NeoForge is downloading, remember that if you use the first link in the description, you get 25% of your first server with Apex Hosting if you need a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that supports over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button, and here it is, a server that is open 24-7, so your friends could join at any moment, and Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you, something that I personally love about Apex Hosting, besides them having locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging wherever you are located right now, is that you could access a server console through your phone, so that means that you could be away from the house, you could be like at Walmart, and still be able to change the settings, kick people out, do whatever you want to do because it is your server. Again, use the first link in the description for 25% off and get your servers that have in less than 5 minutes with Apex Hosting. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now once NeoForge downloaded, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop. Just find it here in your recent download history and put it in your desktop. Now with NeoForge in our computer, to install it is super simple. All we have to do is make sure that our Minecraft launcher as well as our Minecraft game is completely closed and that we have played vanilla Minecraft 1.21 at least once in our computer. That's all you need. Now once you did all of those steps, just go ahead and right click on NeoForge, click open with and click Java. That is going to open the installer right here in a second. As you can see right here, go ahead and select install client and click proceed and the installation will begin. Now, if you encounter any issues while trying to open NeoForge, that is probably because you have an outdated Java as you will need Java 21 to install NeoForge. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java as the programming language that will allow you to open the NeoForge installer. After the Minecraft update 1.20.5, it is now required that you have Java 21. So older versions of Java don't work anymore. Again, I'm going to leave this guide in the description. It's probably going to be the third link in the description. It's super simple to follow. All you have to do is download the installer, click next a couple of times, and that's it. You'll be able to install Java and then open the NeoForge installer. Something that I recommend is that after you install Java 21, you head over to Auto Remove Programs and you get rid of your older Javas. You could always re-download those later. Anyways, once we install NeoForge, we'll see this little menu in here saying OK. Go ahead and click on OK. And now you could even delete the NeoForge installer as you don't need it anymore. Now, for the next step, I want you to open your Minecraft launcher to see if NeoForge installed properly. Now, when the Minecraft launcher open if we install NeoForge properly we'll see selected here automatically as you can see right here it says NeoForge now this is the moment where you could add mods to NeoForge if you want to and to add mods all you have to do is head over to installations hover over NeoForge make sure you have modded selected hover over NeoForge and click on this little folder if you don't see NeoForge in here you could just click on new installation and where it says latest release just find NeoForge name this whatever you want like for example Apex Hosting and then just click create down here on the bottom right and that'll make an instance of NeoForge however once you locate a NeoForge to add mods simply hover over it and click on this little folder that is going to open a folder with a lot of files in here but you are just now specifically looking for a folder called mods m-o-d-s and as you can see i have a forge mod in here which is not compatible with neoforge right now so if you want to play the neoforge version of the mod you have to download the specific neoforge version of the mod like for example for this video i'm gonna download the saeros minimap mod so if you want to download the same one as me you don't have to but if you do just click on the fourth link in the description click download saeros minimap in the step one and then find the neoforge version here for 1.21 download that file and then just add that file after after you download it into this folder. Whatever mods you want to add to NeoForge, you're going to do so using this folder. So as you can see right here, I'm going to drag and drop the NeoForge version of Cytos that I just downloaded. And now close the folder, go ahead and close that mods folder and just launch NeoForge. And that is the way you're going to use mods with NeoForge. Click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft, hit play again and wait for NeoForge to install. But at this point, you already have NeoForge installed. If you update it to Java 21, you shouldn't have any crashes. You shouldn't have any issues. And yeah, just add the mods using this folder in here and then the mods folder. Let's wait for the NeoForge to open. Now, once Neo NeoForge open, you know that you're in NeoForge because it says a warning NeoForge beta up here and then it says NeoForge down here and then it says NeoForge over here. So you know you're in NeoForge and also you see these mods menu in here where we can see that we have the Cyros working. I'm still going to go ahead and launch a world just to test out our mod and see if it is working. I know that it is working because the game hadn't crashed, but yeah, just go ahead and launch a world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer world, but if you're using server side mods, you're going to need to put those mods in the server as well. So that's why I always recommend that you create your own server using the first link in the description because of course with Apex hosting, you could the mods yourself to the mods folder and you don't have to worry about talking to the server owner or asking for permission or stuff like that. Anyways, as we can see, as soon as we went into the world, we have Cyros working on the top left and I'm going to go ahead and press the letter Y to access the settings of the minimap. As you can see, Cyros is completely working, which means that our NeoForge is completely working. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return for helping you out. Just subscribe. And as always, bye bye.